What is your campaign about? What is your arc about? What is it that you intend your players to consider or feel? These are the questions that should preoccupy you when you're planning adventures and story. Themes. And every decision you make when you create scenes and encounters should be influenced by these themes. This is a very difficult lesson to learn, and I can say that because it was a very difficult lesson for me to learn and write down. Every story is trying to tell you something. Even if you don't think it is, there's a way to analyze it in a way that means something to someone. So, it's best to think about it in advance instead of letting it dictate itself to you. The problem with role-playing games, as opposed to just writing prose, is that you have to contend with the fact that you have other characters in the world that you do not control that can walk around and mess up your story. This is also RPG's greatest strength. In any game you play, there should be N storylines, where N is the number of players at the table. That means one for every character, and another one that the guide is trying to convey. Whatever your theme and storyline is will be the main guiding force, pun intended, when you guide. But taking player stories into account is a key for player satisfaction. This is why it's important to work with your players when you're starting a campaign. They will want to tell their own stories, they have their own themes they want to pursue, and the resolution of those themes is what they want, expect, and you will need to facilitate. So it's important that they fit in with your theme. It's completely okay to tell a player that their idea is good, but won't fit into your campaign right now. They'll come up with a new one quickly enough. Ideas are really a dime a dozen. Yes, even yours. I know several famous guides who, when they start a new campaign, offer their players about three different one or two sentence ideas for the next campaign that they like and let their players choose one. This is a reduction of the decision-making method for the couples who have trouble deciding. One person suggests five ideas, the other selects two they like, and the first pick the one he likes best out of those two. Why is this a good idea? First of all, you're giving your players choice. That's what role players love the most. That's why we play. And that's the most important thing you must never take away from a player. Agency. Secondly, it forces you to condense your big ideas and lofty goals into a simple structure, into a well-defined theme. Thirdly, it should make you think in advance of some kind of endgame. You don't have to, and you shouldn't, tell your players what it is, and you definitely shouldn't spell it out in your pitch. But the fact of the pitch, the fact that you're trying to sell your players on an idea, should force you to make it a good one. Your standard fantasy superhero pulp adventure is probably going to end with the PCs saving the city slash kingdom slash world, but it also doesn't have to. If you're trying to pitch your players a post-apocalyptic campaign, it can end with the PCs finding the new hope of civilization, with just finding a safe haven, or even with all the characters dying only having accomplished one one minor progression away from darkness that the next party will pick up. It all depends on what theme you want to pursue, what you and your players need right now, or even what kind of fun are you not getting from all your other games. So when you think about your next campaign, think in themes. Not only in vague terms like I want a space-based adventure, but in actual big story beats and what emotion are you trying to convey. Is this a diplomatic conflict designed to show us that different people see things very differently? Babylon 5. Is this the eternal war of good versus evil? Star Wars. Is this a fight for survival showing how far we are willing to to go, Starship Troopers, Space Above and Beyond, a utopia of exploring the vast unknown of classic sci-fi tropes, Star Trek, or just figuring out the difficulties of lonely, harsh interstellar travel, Stargate Universe. Whatever you do, you don't have to plan it all in advance, but you should keep in mind the payoff you're aiming for as well as your players. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, press the thumbs up button. Subscription to the channel also helps a lot. Hit the notification bell if you want to know about live streams. And that's it until next time. Stay good. Have fun.